What's up? Alright, um, today I'm gonna go over rendering. What is it? Why do we do it? And what is that annoying blue screen that says unrendered? Alright, um, I'm gonna bring in a couple of clips, or just one. And um, let's bring in this one. Nah, I don't want that clip. Right here. Okay. So I have a clip. I'm going to drag it, the whole thing, into my timeline. And <clears throat> this clip, okay, as you can see, there are two gray bars right here. Okay. Um, two gray bars. All right. That means that I can play this clip fine. I shouldn't have any glitches. I am gonna delete. I mean, mute the audio because it's on. Um, I should be able to play this back fine. See, full frame rate, full resolution. No problem. Okay, cool. So, um, let's just add a color corrector. Okay. Now you can see this green bar, okay, right here, green bar, I added a color corrector, and what that does is basically tell me, hey, there's an effect on this, um, you can preview it, but it might not play back at full frame rate or full resolution, um, I'm playing back okay, I've got a pretty decent computer here, so, I'm on my laptop, but, yeah, it's pretty decent. Um, so yeah, no problems, I'm playing back. Okay, um, what if we, let's see, let's add, let's put text on top, how about that? So, let's go to text, let's drag a text layer over this. And, okay, so we're still good. I'm still green. I can still play. Okay. Um, what else could we do to make this red? Let's put a Gaussian blur on top of my video layer. Let's go here, and I'm gonna boost that up. Okay. I'm still playing back pretty decent. Alright, let's duplicate this text layer and dang I'm still playing back alright kind of an epic fail I thought it'd be done by now let's add oh this will do it unsharp mask Wow, it didn't. That's surprising. Huh. And it still plays back, doesn't it? Let's do a glow. Light rays. That's, I mean, come on. Light rays on my text. Okay, there we go. So now, you can see... We get the dreaded unrendered screen. Everybody's like, what the heck is that? Um, well, you can't play back in real time. I can use my arrows and go through here and play it back. Frame at a time. That's about it. Okay. Um, so, you can see we finally got the bar to turn red. That's when you get the unrendered, okay? Um, to render this, or so you can watch it, um, we have two things we can do. I'm gonna split this clip. If I just wanna render a selection, I can click what I want to render. It doesn't matter what I click, but anything in this selection is gonna be rendered, okay? So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go sequence, render only. 
I'm gonna do red for needs render. Okay. Um, basically, it's telling me I don't have my project saved, so it's gonna throw it in an unknown project folder for my render. I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna render through this. Okay. Um, once it's done rendering, you can see that your red bar has turned blue. Um, so that means you know it's rendered. Um, the blue is just showing you instead of gray, it's blue showing you that there was an effect on it and you rendered it out so now you can play it back in real time. So you can see we're playing that section back in real time. Once it hits the red, unrender it again. Okay? So we're gonna undo that render. Alright? So now I've got red bars everywhere. Alright? And let's say I want to render the whole timeline. Um, I'm done and I just want to watch the whole thing. Well, I can use a shortcut or I can go up here to sequence, render all, and both. And that is going to start to render my whole timeline. Alright, this just finished up and um, again, red bar gone, blue bar there. So now this will play fine all the way through. Okay, so what is rendering doing? Basically, it is making a QuickTime file of your of whatever you're rendering. So let's say let's look at our sequence settings. So my sequence, okay, is a ProRes 422 sequence, HD ProRes, okay. So whenever I push render, since my render settings are set to render at 100% resolution and 100% frame rate. I am rendering a full, full-blown high-quality preview, okay? And that is making, if I go to my, wherever your scratch disk is, for example, right here it says video render, that is sending to my hard drive to the um, Final Cut Pro documents, okay? So I'm gonna go to that, and we're gonna see what's what's going on here, okay? So my unknown project, that's what that's the project I'm working on right now. You can see, let's see, okay. So if I push play, so look, I've got an actual QuickTime file here that I can play, okay? I didn't export my movie or anything, I just rendered it. But that is making a video file by itself. Okay? And if you look at here at the info panel, it's ProRes. So it is making the, um, the same file type as your sequence. Alright? And, um, look, same, same. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. You render, and look, um... That's about 60 megs for, I mean, how long is that? It's not even that long for a four second clip, okay? But it's HD, but um, that just kind of shows you that how much space rendering takes up and how to render. Um, that is a quick overview, overview of rendering, and I, I hope that helps.